Hi students, this is Dr. Bhadrinath and uh, today's topic is uh, immunosuppressants, immunostimulants. By seeing these two headings, immunosuppressants, immunostimulants, both are opposite. You supposed to be get one doubt. Sir, immunostimulants, we know very well. Nowadays, even fifth class students, high school students also will tell what is immune system, what are the things you have to be take to boost the immune system. So that turned out uh, compulsory for our pharmacy profession. Immunostimulants are essential. Okay. Now you have to ask a doubt why, sir, why immunosuppressants we need? What is necessary to read this topic? What is necessary? Why this immunosuppressants? What is the role of immunosuppressants? Yeah, you supposed to be get this doubt. I will tell you, I will explain you. See, immunosuppressants are also very essential for human beings. For human beings, I will tell you, in some situations, in some circumstances, like a, a kidney transplantation, organ transplantation, immunosuppressants are compulsory. Without giving a immunosuppressants, you cannot transplant the organ from one person to another person, any organ. Either it may be a kidney or it may be a lungs or it may be a liver, whatever it may be. That's why both are important. Uh, immunosuppressants having its own role, immunostimulants that we know very well. Even a small kid also knows that it is also called as a immunobooster. He will tell nicely, very nicely, than a, than a pharmacy student. These are the substances or these are the medicine or chemical substances. These are the plant products or anything, anything on the in the nature or this may be animal product that stimulates the immune system by inducing, by increasing or by activation of the any of its immune system components. See, uh, immune system components in our body, nearly 30 to 35 items are there. What are these 30 to 35 items? Uh, like a T cells, like a B cells, macrophages, white blood cells. There is number of things are there. All these collectively together, it forms the immune system. Okay? that keep in your mind. So these are the medicines or drugs. It activates the, our immune system, all these components of immune system. Now, immunosuppressants. This is also called as anti-rejection medication. See here, anti-rejection. If there is a kidney transplantation is there, what happened? The person who took a kidney, the body immune system, which is present in his body, he, that the immune system tried to reject the kidney. Try to reject it. It's making a nonsense, making a biggest problem. In such a cases, you have to give the medication to suppress the immune system. Compulsory, mandatory. That's why this is called anti-rejection. Okay. This is very essential for the transplantation of any organ. So here you can see the definition. Same definition, opposites. If your immune system is uh, good, you can be stand like this Vodafone symbol, Juju. Okay, let the corona virus come near to us. Okay, face to face, no problem. Because we have a very strong immune system. See, this is uh, uh, your syllabus, immunostimulants and immunosuppressants. Both are there in your syllabus. Okay, you have to find what is the immune, uh, immunosuppressants importance also. This is my mobile app. You can be find all my presentations, all my notes in the form of PDF, very quick review. So you can select your course, go, uh, download from the Google Play Store, go to the store option, uh, whichever course you want, you can go through that. All PDFs are available. And this is my YouTube channel. Go to the playlist option in this, in this playlist. You can be find all my explanation videos subject wise. If you click on each subject, you will get a topic wise. See, my dear students, first I will start with the immunosuppressants. See, here we saw already the definition. These are the drugs are medicines, medications, any products which inhibits the cellular or humoral cellular immune system, humoral immune system or both types of immune responses in the humans or as in the animals. See, kidney transplantation, he is a one person here. He is taking the kidney, kidney transplantation, compulsory. Uses organ transplantation, compulsory. And another one, there is one more important use also, autoimmune diseases. I heard, I think you heard this name, autoimmune disease. Autoimmune, our own body, what it do? See, our body immune system acts as a own villain in some cases. 
See, rheumatoid arthritis is a result of that. Our body immune system will do some overaction sometime. Uh, so that what happened, it starts damaging all these uh, joints. See here, this is called a rheumatoid arthritis. All body joints will be damaged by our own immune system. Because immune system will be misleading. Misleading, okay? And it, find, it leads to damaging of some rheumatoid arthritis in hand. There is a list of immune system is there, autoimmune disorder. Okay, rheumatoid arthritis, just one example. Here you can see the definition. It is a condition in which immune system mistakenly attacks your body. Very important slide. If you see a running matter in the textbook, it, it is a kilometers, kilometers together. Uh, nearly 50 kilometer matter if you arrange, you know, very long, uh, that much of, see students are nowadays, uh, they will not, they will get sleep if you are, they are reading a textbook. That's why for you, I summarized nearly uh, six to seven pages of the matter here. Okay. Immunosuppressants. We see the classification, examples, mechanism of action also. Very, very important slide. See, first one is a uh, calcineurin. Inhibitors. This is called as a specific T cell inhibitors. T cell I have shown here. T cell inhibitors. Example is a cyclosporin, tacrolimus. See, mechanism of action I have given here. It inhibits the antigen stimulated. Antigen will come and it stimulates our T cell. That T cell will be suppressed by this calcineurin inhibitor. Okay, antigen comes our body, our body T cells will be uh, act, get activated due to the antigen. These drugs, these uh, cyclosporin drugs hampers, okay, it reduces the activation of the helper T cells. Next, MTOR inhibitors, these are the examples, and it inhibits the MTOR mechanistic target C, M, mechanistic T target of rapamycin. MTOR inhibitor. These are the examples. Classification very, very important. Anti-proliferative drugs, anti-cancer drugs. These are also called as a cytotoxic drugs. Azathioprine, methotrexate. They block mechanical action. They block the proliferation and the differentiation of the T cells. B cells. You see here, B cells I have shown here. B cells. Next is very, very commonly doctors will write glucocorticoids. Corticoids. Cartic commonly we are calling it as a corticoids or steroids. Steroids, you can say steroids, steroidal, painkiller steroid, corticoids or glucocorticoids like a prednisolone, methyl prednisolone, commonly because they hamper. These are the wonderful painkillers actually. Painkillers are two types: steroidal painkiller, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Okay, steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Keep in your mind. When doctors generally they are not giving a corticosteroids or steroidal painkiller, doctors are not giving generally because they have a drawback of suppressing the immune system. So it inhibits the MHC expression, IL1, IL2, IL6 production. So helper T cells will not be activated. Biological agents prepared with biotechnological help, like a TNF alpha inhibitors, tissue necrosis factor TNF. Examples, these are the drugs here, MAB, monoclonal antibody ends with MAB, monoclonal antibody, IL-1 receptor antagonists, here I have shown IL-1 beta, IL-2, IL-6, okay, IL-1, IL-2, okay, here you can see IL-6, okay, and anti-CD antibody, polyclonal antibodies like uh, this rho D immunoglobulins, MTOR I have shown here, all these, these slides are very, very important. Immunosuppressants, classification, examples with mechanism of action. Now, immunosuppressants regimens, how to prescribe? Doctors, how they are prescribing? That we will see. Regimen in the organ transplantation. Three phase, organ rejection is having a three phases. First one is a starting phase. That is inducing ready. Starting very first to two weeks, two to 12 weeks, rapidly rejects the organ by the body. During this, you have to give this injection. Next is maintenance the regimen. You have to maintain that immuno. First one, rapidly you have to suppress. That's why we are giving a combination of three drugs we are giving. See here, these drugs we are giving. Cyclosporin or the, in these three, one plus prednisolone plus azathioprine. Commonly, these are one, two, three. Any one of this we are giving. First, because 
rapidly you have to suppress next is you have after suppression you have to maintain that suppression lifelong this treatment you have to give a lifelong not one or two days given prolonged period almost lifelong triple drug regimen three drugs we are giving but however you can be drop one drug here after one year cyclosporine you can be treated so first initially you have to give a three later two drugs is enough next is anti rejection regimen episode just like a serials daily sometimes what happen weekly once monthly once immune system suddenly it try to reject the arga just like a episodes serial episodes here in such a case you have to give a injection for that movement in that neck movement emergency movement you have to give you for 3 to 5 days these are the adverse effects if you are using a immunosuppressants or what have been increased the risk of bacteria fungi virus nowadays very very uh, alert you have to be there so these are very ready to attack your body whenever your immune system is less this will attack so it is very problematic for those who transplanted the organ already development of uh, lymphomas and related malignancy cancer chances is also there and immuno boosters see osimum tanksum the tulsi daily what we will do puja uh, we have to respect the plant because scientific proof is also there in the pharmacology tripathi book also they have medicine clearly mentioned osimum tanksum uh, is a thing see immuno stimulant this is a definition there is a two types here one is adjuvants next is immuno stimulant immuno stimulant first one is adjuvants aluminum very important to booster aluminum this aluminum and all they are giving as a adjuvant in the vaccine in the vaccine killed vaccine along with the aluminum they are giving vaccine adjuvant these are the substances combined with an antigen see here corona is antigen for increasing the immune response next various adjuvants are added to vaccine aluminum hydroxide or phosphate next is immuno stimulant these are the compounds which immune response without injection directly they are giving they are not giving any antigen directly they are giving here adjuvants just helping helping the antigen like that they are giving okay there is totally six type of immuno stimulants very important slide this is bacterial products bcg vaccine and example mechanism of action enhancements of b cell and t cell t cell drugs levamisole bestatin bestatin okay it uh, in due induction of the beta t lymphocytes monocytes macrophages animal originated from the fish chitosan is a very good chitosan from fish it activates the production of cytokinin il1 il beta tnf alpha plant originated osmum sanctum tulsi aloe vera this stimulates the antibody response see here when our antigen antigen come our antibody response towards it okay neutrophil activity prebiotics very very important prebiotics okay these are the example like a inulin mono oligo uh, uh, fructo oligosaccharide these are the indigestible fibers okay very very important it increases the beneficial gut bacteria vitamins minerals that are all you know vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d zinc minerals like a zinc selenium all are very very important whatever i have given it is more than sufficient for your regular examination need not to be read the textbook need not to be purchase any textbook right